Okay, check this out. Out of nowhere, someone managed to um, get HP menu to boot directly as a CIA. Of course, I helped set up the uh, ARM 7i and ARM 9i binaries for him. He just recompiled HP menu to mount at the correct ARM 7 entry address. Because before I had to modify it manually in the SRL and it wouldn't work properly after doing that. But apparently all you have to do is change a few files in the source code make file, make it change the ARM7 code entry and RAM address entries to the correct range, and it works. So I'm going to show you. This was sort of a failed experiment. This doesn't boot. <laughs> but this show you booting HP menu without Sudoku X. Watch as it boots directly into it. Boom, there you go, and I'm gonna see what it works. So I'm gonna go to, so I have all my um, stuff in this directory. Let's try the NTR folder. No, well, that doesn't work. I don't have a whole lot here. I can try wood dumper. Yeah, it boots. Obviously wood dumper doesn't work because not able to access slot one looks like could probably um, modify the access control settings so it at least sees a card ID as you can see it's zero right now but wood dumper doesn't work for obvious reasons because it's not able to reinitialize the yes the slot so but it does boot up that's the only home I have on it right now but as you can see for the first time, we can run DSi Homebrew without Sudoku X, just directly as a CIA, which is pretty cool. Might try and work these into properly proper SRLs. They currently use the same game code as the uh, Mario Kart demo, so I'm going to fix that before there's any kind of release or anything like that, if there is one.